Okay, so you have your prints done, they're completed, you're all the way uh, ready to turn these uh, in and you've made uh, an addition. So, what's an addition? Addition is basically a uh, system that they developed to sort of differentiate between artist-produced prints that are made by an artist's sort of um, own hand and then mechanical electronic reproductions of prints um, or of, of imagery. And so it all started off when people wanted, collectors wanted to make sure that they were getting, you know, a limited edition, that there weren't 10 million of these out there if they're going to pay $5,000 for a Rembrandt print. They want to make sure that Rembrandt actually made it, although Rembrandt never once editioned any of his prints because all of this stuff developed after Rembrandt was done. But, so let's say that I have my prints and I've made, um, I get one print as I'm doing my edition that's amazing that I think is the print that uh, I want all the rest of them to match up to. This is what's called a BAT or a Bon Autier, which stands for ready to print or good to pull or ready to pull. There's all these different translations of it. But basically, if this is my smiley face masterpiece again, um, I'm going to say that this print is ideal and every single print in my edition is going to match the BAT. So every single print that I get as I'm printing should match it. So I use the BAT as sort of the standard, the BAT. And if, so let's say I have five prints here, and I print five of them, and I go through and I realize I compare each one to the BAT, and I realize that this one is a little bit light, there's some starved line in it, the, um, I didn't wipe the plate correctly. So that means that this print doesn't match the BAT, so I actually destroy that, I get rid of it. I don't count that as a part of my addition. And that means that I only have four prints left um, out of all that labor that I put in. And so sometimes what you'll see is you'll see an AP, which stands for Artist Proof. And that's just one that the artist has kept in order to keep their, for their own records, their own collection. Sometimes artists will take those around and show them as they're trying to sell more of their own, more of their prints. But it's an artist print, so you can label one as an artist print. So that may, means that I only have three prints left, right, that are part of the edition. So that means my edition is an edition of three. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign and number these uh, one out of three, two out of three, and three out of three. You always, always sign an edition in pencil. Never in pen, never especially in glitter pen. Always in pencil, it's just the way that it's done. And when you do your edition signing, there's really not a right or a wrong way to do that. But I'll show you the way that I prefer to see it and you all can make up your own minds about how it is. But if this is my edition and I have my, this is my etching plate mark here and then I have my smiley face, right? Uh, what I want to do is I want to put my edition number here, so one out of whatever, one out of three. And then I'm going to put my uh, signature, and then I'm going to put the title. And again, you put these things at the bottom or just underneath the plate mark if it's an etching plate, and uh, kind of distribute them along there this way. And that way when people look for your prints, they know where to know the title, who made it, and then the edition number. Some artists, of course, don't want this kind of stuff on the front, so they'll put it on the back of the print. Some artists sign everything over here, and they don't do anything. Uh, they don't spread them out that way. It's really up to you uh, as an artist to figure out how you do it. But you have to have this information someplace on your paper so that collectors and uh, other artists and anybody in the public can figure out what they're looking at. So that's what an addition is. So an addition is not um, a photocopy. An addition is all these handmade prints that are compared to a BAT and they all have to match the BAT or else they're not allowed to be a part of the edition.